Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. First of all, welcome to those new subscribers who are joining us for the first time. It is awesome to have you on board. Today's video is the launch and premiere of my 2023 make along. Yes, I am having another make along. However, it will only go for six months from the 1st of January to the 30th of June. So let's get started. My theme for the make along came about because most of you know that have been with me for a while, I love to travel. And prior to COVID, we did a lot of travel in the Northern Hemisphere, mainly because our eldest son lives in London. It's an opportunity and excuse to see him. This year, we holidayed in Victoria, which is a Southern state in Australia on the East Coast. And we, I met up with a subscriber, Janice, and we spent the day together and it was absolutely awesome. We'd been friendly through comments and emails, but to actually meet her face to face and spend the day with her, and meet some of her family was just terrific. And it gave me a thirst and a desire to meet other subscribers if possible. So this theme is one way of me doing that. So. On the 15th of November, on a Rock 2022 AU video, I asked my subscribers to leave a comment saying the town, the state, the country where they lived, with no real reason as to why, other than I was gathering information. Now, some of those people thought it was the opportunity for a giveaway. I hadn't planned a giveaway. However, I got such an overwhelming response, I have decided I would do a small prize draw. So, you can purchase a pattern up to the value of $10. And on that video, I am going to use a random YouTube comment picker to pick one person to win that prize. So I'm giving away one $10 pattern prize. And it doesn't matter where you live. Now, if that doesn't suit you, I'm sure I could pay $10 by PayPal into your account or we can come to some other arrangement. That draw will be at the end of this video. So that video on the 15th of November, those comments have now closed. I will draw someone to win a patent prize, which will assist them with the 2023 make along. So the theme of the 2023 make along. What is it? Well, let's unravel travel and take a virtual vacation. Yes, we can travel together virtually visiting different places. So I put all the names and the places of those people on the random name wheel and I picked 12 randomly to visit. Mainly because six months, there'll be two a month, one on the first and one on the 15th day of each month where we will travel to some other place. However, I will not disclose subscriber names due to privacy. It's entirely up to them if they wanna leave a comment on the video that that's my hometown, that's where I live. What I will do is use whatever information has come out when I have done the 12 name draws of the places we will visit. It's as clear as mud, isn't it? I know. So there will be rules and terms and conditions on the 1st of January and you must read those, such as you must be 18 years of age. It's open worldwide. There'll be prize draw every month, just like Rock 2022 AU. So I'll put a video up here for the new subscribers of the last one so you can see what I mean. That will still be a $25 gift voucher and then there will be a major tr pr um, prize draw either the 1st or 2nd of July for the whole make-along. The main make points of the make-along is you must do eight rows of your project. So four rows for the 1st, four rows for the 15th. Entirely up to you. To be eligible to enter into the drawers, you must post your pictures on Instagram or in the Facebook group that we have, which is a private group. The hashtag for the make-along will be YarnVacationAU. 
hashtag yarnvacationau. Don't forget the AU because that's how I find you on Instagram. Also, that differentiates our hashtag from anyone else. The Facebook group is a private group. You just join as a member and it's entirely up to you whether you post one picture a month or two pictures a month. Now, to be eligible to enter into the major prize door, you must have at least posted one a month. So that's six pictures for the make along. As I said, the rules and terms and conditions and all the, all the things to do with the make along will be available on the first video on the 1st of January. The reason being, there may be some tweaking along the way because I've changed things up from previous years. So, firstly, your project. In the past, I've let you make anything. This year, coming year, I'm changing it. I want you to either make a blanket, a lapgan, a shawl, a scarf, a snake or a poncho. Pick one of those projects, a blanket or a lapgan or a shawl or a poncho or a snake. Why a snake? Well, luck of the draw, I can't remember which one. Some of the ladies made a snake and I really liked it. And I think I will be doing a snake. I found this crochet pattern on Ravelry. And I think Trev the Travelling Snake sounds like a good idea. So basically you're going to be making a travelling project with me and we're going to travel virtually to different places. To inspire the project and the colours you put in your project will be information on all these places. Um, so... To give you an idea, today I'll tell you about my hometown and this is how it will go from the 1st of January. It's up to you whether you get an early start and want to add this to your project. I live in a beach suburb of the Cairns area. Um, Cairns is in Queensland, Australia, situated in the tropical north, better known as the far north Queensland. Our state flower is the Cooktown Orchid. Now if I can find a picture of the Cooktown Orchid I'll put that at the end for you to see. And what I will be doing is researching like this on the places we visit. The city was founded in 1876 and named after Sir William Wellington Cairns following the discovery of gold in the Hodgkinson River. Gold. Inspiration. Throughout the late 19th century, Cairns pro prospered from settlement of Chinese immigrants who helped develop the region's agriculture. Cairns also served as a port for blackbird ships, bringing slaves and indentured labourers to the sugar plantations of Innisfail, which is south of Cairns. During World War II, the city became a staging ground for Allied forces in the Battle of the Coral Sea. Coral, another colour. By the 20th century, the city had become the centre of international tourism and in the early 21st century has developed into a major metropolitan city. That's my only whinge is we relied far, we rely far too much on tourism and when COVID hit, we really found out about it. We need to diversify our area more. A lot of people were out of work, a lot more homeless, and it was a real struggle for the area to survive. Cairns is a popular tourist destination because of its tropical climate, its access to tropical rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef, one of the seven wonders of the world, which is currently under threat from climate change, another issue we have to consider. Today's temperature, the low was 22 C Celsius which in Fahrenheit is 71.6, and it reached a maximum of 32C, which is 89.6. Yes, it is warm. Humidity is up around 90%. It is going to get warmer. It's our wet season, and we will get cyclones. There is lots to see in Cairns if you visit. The Great Barrier Reef for snorkeling and diving, the coral, the fish is absolutely beautiful. I haven't done it in years, 
but it's still amazing. There's a cable car ride that takes you up over the canopy of the Coranda Rainforest and where you go to the Coranda Village, which is like a hippie marketplace and have spend a, and look at locally made goods. There's a bird sanctuary, a butterfly sanctuary. There's lots to see up there. And then you catch the train down, the old rickety train that takes you through the rainforest and brings you back down to Cairns. That is an awesome day out. On the Tablelands, which is up this way of Cairns, there are volcanic crater lakes that are extinct and full of water and fish and eels, and they are beautiful to look at. The Mossman Gorge, heading that way, I don't know my north, east, west or south, is beautiful. Lots of cold water um, swimming, beautiful hiking trails. And then, of course, there's the luxury mecca of Port Douglas, where the rich and famous often come to stay. There's a lot of photos around different restaurants in Port Douglas where Bill Clinton dined because he visited often. Recently, we had uh, Orlando Bloom and Katy Perry visiting. We had Kim Kardashian. And I can't work out if it was a boyfriend or he's not a boyfriend anymore because I don't follow her. But yes, Port Douglas is the luxury mecca. But we do go up there for day trips. It is really nice and it is pretty. Other small industries we have is sugarcane is still grown. Over the back here to my property is a sugarcane farm. They've actually halved it. They've diversified because it went across the major road. On the other side, they've now got these black cattle, which are being raised for meat. They're not dairy cattle, that's for sure. We grow bananas. Our bananas are always cheap unless they're hit by a cyclone. We have mango season, the beautiful big bow and mangoes, and avocado season. We have all the best things here, including the fact that I can grow, grow dragon fruit. My dragon fruit is flowering, and I will have quite a bit of dragon fruit during its season. I grow pineapples, just so easy to grow. I think I have 11 pineapples growing at the moment, and I've already harvested one and used it. So there is coffee plantations on the tableland, tea plantations, there's one in the Daintree, a tea plantation. And recently they started a cotton plantation up on the tablelands, which is proving to be a success. So yes, it is better that we diversify some of our industries away from tourism. I was hoping to find something humorous about Cairns, but I've been here so long I can't work out what is funny anymore, really. But I'm sure there is some funny things that go on. We have some hilarious events that I've probably forgotten about, but you never know. I would like to research the places that we start with on the 1st of January, see if I can't find monuments, their state flower, anything like that I research is to inspire your project, the colours you put into your project, what you're doing with your project. I mean, if you're making granny squares for a blanket, you could make flower granny squares and follow the state flowers. That's just some ideas. I will put a suggested pattern list in the description below this video of free patterns and paid for patterns that you might like to try. Entirely up to you whether you check it out or not. So, what else can I say? To tweak the terms and conditions, you have an opportunity to give me feedback. If you think we should add to the project list or change a few things up, then email me your suggestion and I'll consider it. All I ask is all your suggestions are in before the 1st of January, because once I start it in the 1st of January, it will be set in stone. Now, it is not affiliated with YouTube, and I am not sponsored for any of the prizes. All the prizes will be purchased by me personally, and that's the way it goes. Someone recently got upset with the Rock 2022 AU because they thought if they posted one picture, they would win a prize. 
This is why I strongly recommend you read the terms and conditions clearly and make sure you understand them on the 1st of January before you commence entering. I don't want you to be angry, sad or disappointed because you didn't understand. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will try and clarify it for you. It's pretty much the same terms and conditions as we had for Rock 2022. You do four rows for each release, like four for the first, four for the 15th. You can do more if you want to. Entirely up to you, your project. All I ask is that you pick from the list of projects I have offered you. There'll be nothing to show you like the album covers to inspire you. You'll have to listen to the video and become inspired by the information I give you, like the steak flower, like funny incidents, like the crops grown, like the fruit, all that sort of thing. If there's photos, they'll be at the end of each video that might help you inspire you along the way. So do you want to go on vacation? Virtually travel with me. It should be fun. Let's make a traveling project together. Even if you're not into travel, it's nice to find out where your Yarni community friends live, what's around them, what's their town like, what's their country like. Here, as far as yarn store goes, we've got one small craft store across the road from here from work. The stacks, stocks a very limited amount of yarn. There are two box stores. One is very good. It even stocks a lot of Lion brand yarn. The other one, not so good. They pretty much insist you buy their home brand of yarn, which isn't always the best. We have a really great little um, yarn shop on the Tablelands where she opens up on Thursdays. So if I get a day off, I often want to go up there because it's about an hour away drive, but it is awesome. She has quite a good yarn range, everything, embroidery, diamond painting, lots of fabric for the quilters, all that sort of thing. And it is a lovely day out. So maybe when I am visiting these places, I might try and check out what yarn shops they have in their area. You never know. You might find something new. So guys, that is the launch of the 2023 Make Along. The hashtag is YarnVacationAU. Don't forget, post your pictures to Instagram or join the Make Along group and post them there. Now, if you're not into social media, you can email me. You can give me permission to put them in the Facebook group because it's private. I won't be putting them on Instagram. But there you go. I hope you think this is a great idea to travel virtually. I think it'll be fun. I really like finding out about different places. And you never know, it might help me with my future travel plans. So remember, life is short. The world is very wide and very big. And in the words of the Dalai Lama, once a year go somewhere you've never been before. You might enjoy it. It will help your mental health to take downtime from all the pressures of where you are, to listen to where someone else lives, to discover new information. It just helps your brain switch gear. So I really believe this make along, besides having fun, discovering the world, will also be good for our mental health. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, consider making Trev the traveling snake. That's what I'm going to call him if I do him. Bye for now. Welcome to the Pattern Prize draw for the video done on November the 15th where I asked you to leave a comment 
on where you live. There are 31 unique comments. The winner will can select a patent prize up to the value of $10. Good luck, everyone. Gail Shaughnessy. Gail has won herself a $10 patent prize. Gail, if you could email me, uh, make your selection on either Ravelry or Etsy. Ravelry is easier for me, but that doesn't matter. Or email me and let me know if you don't want a patent prize. We can arrange something up to the value of $10. The ironic thing about you, Gail, is I think I know someone who lives in the same town as you. Congratulations. Thank you, ladies for all, and gentlemen, for all your comments. It was greatly appreciated. Bye for now.